In the New Testament, there's several places that talk about the spiritual race that we've been called to. In fact, it's mentioned four times in the New Testament. I think it's an important thing to think about for a moment. This, this race of faith that God's called us to is something that he wants us to consider, that in our life there's this comparison that it's like a race. In fact, there's a couple of spots that is mentioned in Acts chapter 20, verse 24. It mentions the fact that we should finish the race that we've got to finish this race that we've been called to. Not to be so concerned with our physical life around us, but, but race this spiritual contest against ourselves, against our old self, and put on Christ. And so Acts chapter 20, verse 24 is one of those passages. In fact, there's a, another passage, maybe the one that comes to mind for most people. It's right at the very beginning of the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 11 talks about the wonderful faith chapter, the chapter that lists all the heroes of faith in the Bible. And then it tells us that we need to run that race. We need to lay aside our weight and run the race that's set before us. And so the interesting part about these verses in the Bible is it reminds us that this is something we've got to get into motion. We've got to get into gear. We haven't been called just to stand by and hopefully grow or hopefully change or just be an observer or a spectator, he tells us to get into the race, get moving with that race. In fact, there's another passage in 1 Corinthians, and it's chapter 9 and verse 24, where it mentions that fact that everybody runs in a race, but only one wins. And so that's the kind of thinking we're supposed to have, Paul says, that we want to win this race, this race of faith that God's called us to. We want to be a part of the family of God. So that means we can't be hesitant, we can't be apathetic, we can't just take life as it comes. It means we have to have a concerted effort to move ahead. And so this analogy of the race is something that is used over and over and over again. And probably my favorite one, that fourth one, is found in 2 Timothy, and it's in verse, uh, chapter 4, verse 7. And here's what the Apostle Paul said. He said, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I've kept the faith. And that's all of our goals, isn't it? It's to run that race and put it into gear, put God's way into practice more and more and more in our life so it propels us toward that wonderful finish line of the kingdom of God. And so let's get moving. Remember the race, and let's go forward. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.